everybody. Welcome back to another session of The Hoppery. My name is Mark Starr and we are now into 2011. I hope everybody had a really great New Year's and I uh, really hope you enjoyed my top 25 beers of the year list. Um, so today we're going to be doing the first video review of the new year. Uh, and I'm going to be sharing a beer with you that was recently named one of the top 25 beers uh, in Draft Magazine. Now I always look forward to that magazine coming out I always look forward to uh, their 25 best of beers. And I like to go through the list and see how many I've had, how many I've reviewed. Uh, but I also like to see which ones I can get. Um, they had quite a few on there that were fairly common this year. Um, I wouldn't say that the Samuel Smith Yorkshire Stingo, which is what we're going to look at today, uh, is a common beer. Uh, but it is one that is pretty readily available. So. I thought we would take a look at it. I've never had it before. Uh, I've had maybe one or two beers by this brewery. Uh, but anyway, the fact that it made that list piqued my interest. And uh, this one clocks in at 9%. Uh, again, it's called the Yorkshire Stingo. I'll hold that up there so you guys can see it. Uh, Stingo just basically means old ale. So it says on the bottle here that it is an ale aged in oak casks and that it is matured for over a year. So after doing a little bit of research as well, uh, the brewery states that this beer does not require aging, uh, that it can be drank immediately. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drink it immediately and uh, just see exactly how good it is. So looking at the color, it kind of is reminiscent of a barley wine, an English style barley wine, uh, which I'm imagining it's probably sort of similar to. Uh, it's got that really cloudy, brownish, uh, red color. Uh, it looks like the same color as the inside of a date. Uh, so if you go out and you buy dates, you know, cut one of those in half, look at the inside of them. It's about that same color. So it's got a little bit of off-white head on it. Really good texture on this head, though. It's really kind of frothy, uh, kind of small bubbles. But looks, you know, it looks pretty decent. Um, I wouldn't say it's the most beautiful beer I've ever seen, but um, let's see what it smells and tastes like. So right away, this thing really smells like a English barley wine to me. Um, it's got those caramel and figs and dates and raisins. Uh, you know, the, the, the typical dark fruits, uh, the sticky fruits that you look for in a barley wine, those are in there. I do get a hint of like a green grape. Uh, there's also a little bit of oakiness in there, which I know these are aged uh, in oak casks. So I am pil uh, picking up that aroma on the nose as well. Overall, a really good smelling beer. Now I do want to point out that when they started brewing this in 2008, uh, the ABV on it was 9%, or I'm sorry, 8%. This is from 2009, and it clocks in at 9%. Um, so anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and taste it. Hmm. So the first thing I'm going to say is that it's not as full-bodied as I had expected. That's not to say there's not a lot of flavor going on here, because there really is. Um, there's actually a good amount of bitterness in here. I'll say the bitterness isn't so obvious, because it doesn't really just, you know, destroy your tongue as much as it sits on the side of your cheeks. Um, I'm picking up a lot of those uh, raisin flavors, uh, date flavors. I am getting that caramel, a uh, little bit of oakiness uh, from the oak. Um, I think it's not as sweet as I thought it would be, which actually I think is a good thing. You know, barley wines tend to be much sweeter. Uh, they tend to have a lot more hops as well. Uh, to me, this it feels a lot like a barley wine, but the, the sweetness has been pulled back a little bit, which actually I really like. Very interesting beer. You know, this really kind of situates itself somewhere between like the Belgians and the Germans. It's really got that you know, German kind of multi-character. Uh, it's really got the kind of, I guess, uh, dark fruit components that you might get from, say, a Belgian quadruple. Um, I do like the bitterness. I think in the end, it really is the most like 
uh, an English barley wine though. Uh, but really an over, overall just a you know a pretty enjoyable beer. I can sip on this one. Uh, I'll have no problem sipping on the rest of this beer. And in fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit more here and uh, shut off the camera. And until the next time we get together, guys, always go to my website, thehopper.com. Please click on the Sessions tab at the top of my webpage. You can see all the videos that we've produced here on the show. Um, go back, watch some of our old sessions. You know, you'll probably find a beer in there that you either like uh, or maybe you have and you're going to drink it. Drink it along with us. Uh, but anyway, here's to another great year of beer in 2011. Cheers.